Hi, my name is Gerhard Schwartner and welcome to Selling Power TV. Today we have the pleasure of meeting with Jeff Seeley, the CEO of Carew International. Welcome, Jeff. Thanks for having me, Gerhard. So I read an interesting statistic about uh, sales training and uh, sales effectiveness. 87% of the training disappears within like 90 days. It goes poof. Why is that? Well, <laughs> and sadly, that's a statistic that's fairly accurate, unfortunately. Um, the, the real reason that is, is because organizations don't hold their senior leadership and their mid-leadership accountable to create culture. And anything else you know, in the world, it's kind of like learning a language. And, and you obviously speak a second language. I, I happen to learn a second language as well. And if I would learn that language and never spoke that language, my skills would go away almost instantly. And so what we do is we put people into a deep immersion, whether it's sales training, change leadership, negotiations, it's, it's really almost all training. If you went to diversity training and you put them in this experience and you put them in this deep immersion, and then we shall never speak of this again, I will never speak that language, of course it's not gonna become culture. And that becomes the most difficult part of transformation. It's really not training, it's sales transformation becomes where the leadership is going in and asking questions. They're coaching, they're following up, they're holding people accountable. And as you look at the, the you know, C, CSO insights, they talk an awful lot about the number of organizations that don't even have a sales process or don't even have a sales methodology. Well, if you went out and hired Carew to do a sales methodology and then no one held, never, never held anyone accountable for it, how long do you think that methodology is gonna really stick? Are there any techniques for accelerating learning? Ab absolutely, and I think the biggest one is, uh, first off, as, as you put your organization through a methodology, you have to put your leadership through not only the methodology where they can speak the language, but you need to take them to a next level of understanding. So it really becomes more visceral to them. And the, that next level of understanding is now how do you coach to this? And then secondly, you need to integrate it into your your sales automation, your sales force enablement, you need to have those types of things in there. You need to then also move to the next level of watching, observing, and then giving feedback to people. And feedback is critical. As humans, we need feedback. So it becomes critical to creating a culture. It almost sounds like the, the early organ transplants where there was a lot of rejection and a lot of failure. And uh, with, with training is like, uh, learning a new mindset that people initially reject because it's so foreign to them. It's a great example. I'll even take it one further. Um, we were doing some research and I was just astounded to see that 90% of people who have a major heart incident don't appreciably change their lifestyle after the heart incident. So we're talking life and death here and people right. can't change. Right. Sales, really? Right. <laughs> you know, come on. So, and the reason they don't change, appreciably change their lifestyle is because their environment doesn't change. So if everyone in the house ate fatty foods and there's still fatty foods in the house, they're gonna eat it or if they're gonna smoke or whatever the issue is. Well, if you train people and then don't have them use the tools or go back to just the way things were. So what you're saying is that training without management training and without culture shift doesn't work. It works, but it doesn't work as effectively as it could. So, I mean, obviously most training investments are not of the significance that if you got 13% hit rate, it would probably give you an ROI. Right. But we look at it at Carew from the perspective of how do we give you ROI across your whole organization? We want you to be in the leadership of your, your competition in terms of growth, not in the trailing edge. And that becomes where that entire transformation comes into play. I'd like to challenge you. Give me one number, ballpark number, on the ROI of career training? Quite honestly, it's probably about 800%. We've done quite a bit of research on that, and our customers actually, over year over year, our public customers year over year with Carew have grown 30% above their competitors in terms of growth rates. So we're quite happy with that, and um, we've got a, a lot of really long-term customers with great successes. So quite honestly, we, we look at ROI is if we don't return your ROI within the first six months, of your investment, then we haven't done our job. To the point that we actually offer a performance guarantee, quite honestly, that we believe if you do what we say, which is the things we talked about, training your leadership, assessing your sales team, training your sales team, 
that we literally will give you a guarantee of ROI. Thank you, Jeff. Uh, check out Karoo.com.